Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's go back to war. Vinny Vidi Vici style here. And uh, hope you guys are all having a good day. I certainly am. It's always a good day when you can beat up on some Austrians. Um, so yeah, they, they, they really do just like march past this fort. You should not be able to just march past this fort. I don't care what you're... Ugh. So annoying, man. So annoying. Let's come on down here and see these guys. That'll give us a bit of, um, re relevance over here. Let's beat up on Trent. That should be an easy win. Oh, just kidding. They're going to appear over there. So, yeah, it's not going to happen. Jean Claudio. Yeah, we're gonna lose. I'm done, man. I'm done with freaking Austria. Cheating ass nation. The lucky nations. <laughs> Come on now. They certainly won't win, so I don't care, but. How fast are we getting it over here? So, it's gonna be a couple of years, but we'll be able to do it eventually. So we are going to head over here and beat up on these guys, and then we'll just reinforce them. With these guys. There you go. You lock in, you idiots. Yeah, lock in, you idiots. Let's stack wipe them. No stack wipe. Alright, so... Let's see here. As soon as Austria flips from being on... High enthusiasm, by the way. <laughs> like, what? Ooh, but they got a lot of Paris friends. Shut your ass up. Do you think that they could have this entire area siege down, full occupied? High enthusiasm. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Alright, let's siege down Trent. Our manpower's looking fine. How's the... How are they looking? Austria... Only 30,000, so... We're definitely doing okay. Really, they want a mountain fort? I, how much you want to bet that was on, like, a very low percentage? Alright. Let's, um... Let's just embrace institution. It's fine. We got plenty of money. Let's take all this tech way ahead of time. I don't even care. Couldn't care less. You want to ask me why? Ask me why I took that ahead of time. Ask me. I dare you. Alright, so... As far as this stuff goes, we're going to return... Those two provinces to him... And then we're also going to occupy all of this and have him give all those provinces back as well. So, Austria's enthusiasm will start going down slowly. Very, very slowly. But it will start going down. Incense. Very cool. We have incest and Lucca. I can win it. Oh, very good. We won Trevisio. Let's do this over here. Win all this sieges. Austria's war exhaustion is going up still. They're on high enthusiasm still. Because Austria cheats. Look at all these men they have in the field. Austria's lost 73,000 men. It's more than I have. No, I've lost 100, but still. Still, dude. Let's be real here. I'll send these guys over to go handle... Um, all this stuff. So they took that fort back, which is kind of annoying, but it's not a huge deal. As long as this Fit 25 stack is gone. Now Austria is still the Emperor. Feels bad. Let's get these guys out before that 25 stack comes up here. Looks like they're not even coming anyways. Okay, so this is farmlands. Where are you guys heading? I got a two maneuver. They got a two maneuver. Let's get our... Hmm. Just taking all these sieges over here. It's so annoying. Ay ay ay. Yep, we're gonna have to flee from this one as well, because Austria's gonna just dogpile over and over and over and over and over, and then they'll probably do it a couple more times, and then they'll run out of manpower, but then they'll miraculously have more manpower because they're a lucky nation and everything is fine. Very good. Cool. So we got these guys, let's head on over. 
siege down France from them. Because apparently we're going to have to do that. We don't really have a choice. Let's handle these rebels as well. The only thing that he's getting a ticking war score for, or getting ticking for, is um, this length of war. It's absolutely insane to me. Okay, so then you guys are also going to... Yep, very good. They're co-belligerented, so it costs me nothing. Look at that. 22 AE, and I get all of that dev. All of it to my vassal. Once we peace out Austria, we're totally fine. Oh, it should be fine. So let's get all these little stacks out of here. Let's get Memmingen out. Transfer trade power, all that stuff. Very good. Uh, Trent. I think if I separate piece him, I think it will cost me Diplo. So let's see here. Yeah, oh yeah. So that's not going to happen. Um, Berg wants out. So I'll get Berg out. Um, Trier wants out. Maybe. We'll see. No. Kill the rebels. I just don't get how uh, Austria is on high enthusiasm as their war exhaustion is exploding upwards, but it's fine. I'll just um, occupy some more of his land down here. Won the Siege of Avignon, very good. So let's win this siege apparently. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me, hold on a minute. Let's take this back with the zone of control. If I can't march past this, then I genuinely have no idea because, okay, this fort has zone of control. He doesn't control any of this land. Oh, okay, I can walk past it, very good. I was about to get really irritated there. Ay ay ay. Scorch the earth over there. Let's get our guys all grouped up. We sunk his flagship. That's what I thought, Austria. You turd. You absolute worthless turd. So you guys uh, actually go protect trade in Alexandria with our admiral. There we go. We don't need any more of you, so save the sailors. And then... Let's head on up there and get those guys off that fort. They're taking way too long. Oh, yep, they're actually gonna have time to reinforce, which is absolute bogus. Oh, they don't they did not very good So we'll win that maybe Ay 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 expensive, but we're gonna win Okay, that's fine Austria's lost a lot of men, so I can't be too upset about it Very good Let's get you out of there and let's go with prestige is not an issue Let's go with manpower recovery. Look at that, 2200 manpower a month. Now we just need to siege him down, get him off of high enthusiasm? I, just, I still don't quite get that. Ay, ay, ay. have you guys head on over there they're not gonna get they're gonna get the reinforcement oh they did not very good the morale tick is what I meant so let's see here those guys are now fleeing farther than I thought they were going to that's fine uh, we don't need to influence Venice anymore it's fine okay we're good won the siege of hoi putoi let's just carpet siege of stuff down here Something like this. There we go. Carpa Siege. Carpa Siege. Carpa Siege. It's very important. Scotland is low or medium. Provence wants out, which is good because he's occupied by rebels, which is hilarious. And then everything should be go going good here. Let's get these guys Carpa Sieged as well. go great I love free things there we go Let's siege down this stuff 
And that should really start to hurt his enthusiasm because for some reason he still has high enthusiasm even though he's legitimately getting destroyed. There we go. Now he's on medium. I'll have to get him to low. That way I can actually get a peace deal that's worth taking. But our manpower is reinforcing. We're good. Burgundian stuff. So are those French separatists? They are. They're Navarrese separatists. So we'll, in, we'll need to handle them. Okay. We'll head over there. Siege back. back. So it's not, come on over and hang out in Vienne so we're not taking a bunch of attrition for no reason. He's, um, you know, casually on high enthusiasm. <laughs> Right, let's walk on over here. Scotland's gonna want out soon, which is great. Let's get you guys on Trier. Apparently they siege down Luxembourg. Okay, so they got off of that. Let's get over here. This is Woods, so it's a positive roll for us. There's a lot of men over here, so we can't really do that. Let's take a look at what Austria is willing to give me. Yeah, he's not willing to give me anything because he's got all this occupied. So dumb. Come on, dude. What's the deal with this one? This siege is taking way too long. Let's see here. How much war score is it acting like he has against me? 29. Oh, he has negative 29. Interesting. curious. I wonder if I can get him to break the siege there. Yeah, okay. That's good. I'm gonna lose this fight, but he gave up the siege, so... Oh, wait. I'm not gonna lose this fight. I'm going to win the fight. Wonderful. Very good. Let's head up to Starmark. Get those guys off that. We won the siege of Luxembourg. Let's get you guys all up here. And then once we get on to, Lux or to Trier, we can probably piece him out, which will quit this siege right here, which is great. Um, Scotland, Austria, Mulhouse is going to want out as well. So let's get down onto Mulhouse. Mulhausen. Okay. Beating up on those guys down there. Mulhouse is going to want out now. Very good. And uh, now who are we at war with still? Let's get you guys up over here. Siege this stuff down. Get on over to Picardy. More Burgundian rebels. Okay, so Austria is going to get humiliated. There's nothing they can do to stop me from doing that. Um, dude, what? Ay, ay, ay. Such heavy losses, and they're still just like willing to just cling on to it, man. Ay, okay. I really think. Hmm. Trying to think. He's not even allied to any of the electors. That's the that's the part that bothers me. So Utrecht and Trier would both vote for him quite a bit. Um I'm not so sure. I may end up just vassalizing a couple of them. Let's see here. Is he gonna go? Oh! Nice! Well. That's gonna put him on low enthusiasm for sure. He's still not willing to do it. So they're heading over to Frual. So let's see if we can get them on a fort. Great. Hills over there. So let's get you guys... Let's get you guys down here, so that way they can't reinforce quite in time. Yes. Yes. Ay, ay, ay. This is fine. We should be able to win. Yep, they're shattering. Very good. Oh, they took heavy losses there. That's great. Alright. Let's get over there. Now we just need to win a couple sieges and we can do whatever we want with Austria. We lost a lot of men in this war, but I'm going to say Worf. I'll definitely say Worf. And 
negative 36 now. He is now on medium enthusiasm because reasons. Let's do something like this. Siege back all this stuff. That's going to give us a bunch of war score against him, which is great. They got off Vienna. Really? I didn't even see those guys down there. Papal Separatists in Roma. There we go. Austria's on medium. No, they're on low again. Cool. They, uh, okay. I, what in the world is actually going on here that is making them say, you know what? I could easily accept this piece, but I'm not going to. Like, what controls that sort of logic? Why did I get a disease outbreak as well? Man. Morale of armies. For literally no reason. Cool. Am I going to win this? There we go. Let's give that to Byzantium. Very good. They're just going to chill with their 36,000 men right there. All right, let's get over here, handle them. Because I have to. I don't have a choice. Austria is just buying down his stuff here. Let's, um... There we go. That's all I wanted. It's literally all I wanted. And now I want this peace deal, which is not going to cost me much at all. And then... Uh, come on. I'll lose claim on a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's weird. I wonder why that is. Let's peace out Scotland, actually. That'll give us more war score. Might even be able to wipe his army there. Nope, no wipe. We need two extra points there, and there we go. Beautiful. This is what we want. A bunch of money. I get a lot of prestige. Wow, that's a lot of prestige. I don't even need it. Uh, well, let's see here. Let's get Venice set to do that, and then... Sure thing, boss. Let's do that. Let's get this peace deal here. It's gonna give us the prestige that we just spent. Look at that, we lost a lot of men. We did, we lost a lot of men. They lost more, so. And Austria got gimped, which is the main reason why we wanted it. So, we lost a bunch of claims over there, but that's fine. Now we have permanent claims on this, and Italy is mostly ours. So, capture Venice. 20 more prestige, push on Tuscany. Diplo rep for 30 years, vassalization acceptance, plus 30. Interesting. I wonder... Who would I want to be my vassal? Aragon. They have a lot more reasons to not want to be the... Oh, trust. If they trusted me, they'd be willing to do it, probably. Hmm. I just had those guys chilling over there that whole time. It's kind of dumb. Let's have you guys head on over here, handle these rebels. Well, I guess we'll have you... Do something like this. Handle the rebels over there. Very good. Civil war in France. Seeds this stuff back. And uh, there we go. So, we get a lot of trade power in Venice if we click that. So that's really good. For 20 years. So... Look, this is definitely going to be, since we've embraced global trade, I forgot about that one. We can now form Italy as well. So, let's um, click this button. Let's send our guy to collect trade there. Let's see here. So, we're going from 62, which is pretty good. Last I looked, it was like 45. So, 62, and we're going up to 90. Yikes, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Ooh, baby. All right. 
Well, let's click the button here. We are no longer Sardinia Piedmont. We are now Italy. We'll definitely take the new Italian traditions because Italian ideas are very strong. Look at that. Extra 20% trade power right there. 50% improved relations. Less um, aggressive expansion. Um, fork defense, 20%. Wonderful. Stab cost, that's fine. 15% infantry combat, that's good. 15% galley combat, or galley cost and 20% combat. 33% manpower recovery speed. Ooh, look at our ma maximum. 228, wonderful. Tax modifier, prestige, core creation cost. That is so strong, so incredibly strong. Um, so the infantry combat ability is going to be a big one. That'll end up paying off a lot in the long term. Um, Age of Reformation is almost over. There we go. I think that's good. So now we have our new fresh group here. Italian Italy gets dev cost. 10% and a bunch of stab cost. Nice. Uh, permanent claims on a bunch of stuff. Sounds good. And um, more permanent claims. So it looks like we have a lot of permanent claims, guys. And now we have Italia Transalpina, I assume is how you pronounce that. And we get more permanent claims. Okay, and then <laughs> Wowzers, okay, <laughs> clearly uh, this is set to get us towards You know Rome <laughs> uh, Prosperity for all develop the south. So we need more dev down in the south. We have dev cost So we might as well right these guys are giving us more dev cost wonderful so let's take a look here. So we need 25 and at least five of them. So this is technically Italy, right? So it just says Italian region or is it South Italian? Am I, was I misreading that? In Southern Italy. So it just arbitrarily says these guys. So that's fine. Let's spend some points then. We are still yeah, we're 13 years ahead, so who cares? Let's get some more dev cost down here. Let's get some more dev cost over here. So this guy needs 25, so let's go... Um, that's 25, 25, 10. <laughs> so what's the best group over here for this one? Capitania, maybe? It's a lot of dev I'm going to have to put into him. Let's make sure I'm not overdoing it either. Um, so we have three. We need two more provinces to have at least 25 dev. I think we can do that. So let's do... Yeah, this is all one state, so let's do this. Let's go with... There we go. So this is only 25 dev, so let's just do something like this. There we go. Now we got that one, which will give us every province unrest and tax modifier, which is great. Continue the renaissance. Have a university. Which will give us institution spread and embracement costs. That's super not useful, but that's fine. This is so cool. This mission tree is awesome. Complete the resorgument. Uh, though um all right that's no problem we can do that until the end of the game diplo rep and legitimacy the roman question religious unity of at least 100 percent, which will give us missionary strength and tolerance of the true faith um so we just need to own some land over here okay i have permanent claims on literally all this stuff so i think it only makes sense to uh get to work over here right do they even have an army they don't so we're good like we can literally do whatever we want here we just need to watch out for rebels that's the main thing get you guys over here go siege down some forts I don't care about Brittany this is nuts this is actually nuts I kind of can't believe 
how much craziness is going on right now. Let's get those guys out of there. Hopefully we can wipe them. Very good. Very good. Let's get you guys over here. Those rebels are going to go fight each other. Very good. Let's get you guys down there. Uh, nope. I'm going to decline that. I'm going to end up taking them. So I want to vassalize these guys. Instead, I'm going to have to... Build some spy network and vassalize them. And I can do that too. That's no problem at all. And let's do something like this. Just speed five it for now. It's fine. There we go. Get everybody grouped up. Let's get you guys up here. Need a couple more cannons. That's fine. Get you guys up there. And we will take everything that we can. We have permanent claims on all this stuff, so there's no reason not to. Let's also make sure that we are uh, sabotaging his recruitment. And then let's do it to him as well. Weaken him as much as we can. And let's take as much as we can from him. Like, we have permanent claims on all this stuff, so there's no reason not to. We have the admin points. There's no reason not to. We can literally take all this. Um... We can even core it all up for 109 admin. That's pretty crazy, huh? So let's come down here and get those rebels out of there, though. Absolutism is here. Potential for a large army. Multicultural nation we can get eventually as well. All right, Brittany. I forgot about Brittany. Kind of just want Brittany out of there. So these guys don't have any claims on any of this stuff, so I want them to get claims. Get as many claims as you can, my friends. Once we siege down Brittany's capital. Come on, Brittany. Or Burgundy, I mean. Brittany, Burgundy, same thing, right? While well, they're having rebels over here, sieging their capital. Me being the benevolent overlord I am will handle that. So let's have you guys drilling. Also, we need to reconsider this. So our force limit is 30 now, or our combat width is 30 now. So let's take a look at this. I wish you could edit them. 30 width. Something like that. We have the money, no reason not to. go. Brittany will want out now. Very good. Couple of days. We'll take all that. Sounds good. Do I have a claim on this one as well? I do. That's too much. That's fine. Won't even get a, a coalition. Yeah, maybe. Let's get a claim on these guys. We are going to immediately declare on them. And then a couple of days later, we're going to peace out this war. Look at this, dude. Oh my gosh, we're going crazy. We don't have any absolutism yet either. Look how cheap this is to core all this. It's nuts. It's insane. So I'm also apparently have an army black flagged up here, which is hilarious. Didn't even know it. Let's handle these rebels for him. Let's do something like this, and then something like this. Just something to get these guys, those rebels, sorted out for him. And I don't have to worry about any of this. Like, these guys won't do anything. Venice is broken. They have a bunch of little one stacks standing around. Very good. We'll siege that stuff back for him. He's going to like me forever because of it. And there we go. This is so easy. I'm going to vassalize him as well. Um, I love vassals. Something like this. What are you going to do, dude? There we go. 
let's have you guys send him down there. Looks like we actually need a couple more cannons. No, we don't. We're good. We have our two siege guy on there. Let's have you guys drilling. There we go. It's easy. We won the Siege of Luxembourg, so let's get you guys over here, grouped up. This one's been a long episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I know I certainly have. Once we take that, we are going to vassalize him. The AE's pretty bad, so we're going to end up waiting at least to the end of the month here. And at this point, I kind of don't care if a coalition forms. I'm not really too concerned about it. Um, but I will at least make sure that the major guys don't join. Uh, Aragon can't. Austria cannot. France cannot. Uh, Trier, Augsburg, and Utrecht. Let's just get some get some friendships. Make everybody like me a little bit more. Um, Augsburg, Trier. There we go. Now we just chill for a little bit. Oh, he's killing my galley fleets, and they just went out and suicided themselves. You deserve to die. That's how I feel about that. Let's make sure that these guys are all upgraded as well, because they are not. Everything is cored. Do I have any harsh treatment I can do? We need to make sure we're getting this up, but you also have to remember we're gaining it because of crown land ownership. It's wonderful. Been preparing for this all along. So let's take a look here. Our maximum is 49, so we're going to end up needing to uh, cut that back. So let's do that one. And free enterprise. And that'll free up another 20, which is great. Just improving relations with all these guys, making sure that they aren't going to be, you know, absolutely losing their mind about it. Versberg. Already improving with him. Brittany can't. Got a truce. Alan Son. I don't think they would, but if they are, still gonna improve with them. Let's uh, just send a gift to him. Like I said, I know it's been a long episode. I'm fine with it, guys. I'm fine with it if you are. Usually I get a lot of people saying nice things whenever I have the long episodes, so let's make sure you guys don't join as well. Let's pull you back. Make sure we send these guys their gift. Very good. We're very rich right now. Like, honestly, incredibly rich. All right, we need to break our relation with these guys. Actually, I'm gonna wait until we peace out. That way, they don't join the coalition. Ah, they could if they like, if they wanted to. Hmm. So anyways, let's do this. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to pay off his debt. And then we're going to improve relations. I don't care about a little bit of national unrest. Doesn't bother me. Let us dissolve my alliance with them. They're going to be super pissy about it. Don't care. And that'll do it. So in the next episode, we're going to declare on Castile for some reconquest from this guy as well as Tunis. Um, and then when we're at war with Tunis, we'll probably take you know, some clay down here, get a foothold down in here. Um, we also need to start considering how we want to expand Byzantium again. We're at the point now where we are large enough that we can expand them a bit and they will still maintain their march um, status, which is great. They have 27,000 men. While I'm thinking about it, let's build up a couple more of these guys here. This is good. This is very good. All right. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I know I certainly did. We are now Italy. France is mostly gone. Austria is full occupied by Commonwealth. Commonwealth has rebels destroying them. <laughs> um, Ferrara is the Balkans, apparently. And uh, we have broken our alliance with Castile. We still have the Mamlux, so we're pretty good with that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Share your support, leave a like, subscribe, and ding the bell. When you ding the bell, don't forget to click all notifications so you'll get an update every time we upload a video. Um, and also, if you want to check out what's going on on the Discord, or if you enjoy what I do and you want to support my what I do on uh, Patreon financially, the links for those are in the description below the video. And with all that being said, vidi vidi vici. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. 
on the left and right are a couple of playlists that you guys might like to check out. And a big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon for the month of June. Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Jaron Clampett, Wesley Grayson, Orbit Gaming, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Callus Cassowary, Blonde Damon, Matthew Balzarolo, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys.